Okay, so the first section we're going to review up here is which text tool is best to use for making icons. Now I have the typewriter tool here, which um, is up here in our tools the markups. You have a text box tool and a typewriter tool. So the typewriter tool and a text box tool, which one is the one you should use? Now with the typewriter tool, if you take the typewriter tool and you put it into this box here, and then you want to create a new icon. So the new icon, what you do is you'd highlight these guys, go control copy, you'd make your new icon that you want to create. And let's just say this was WW. Well, that's kind of off the screen and you're like, man, that's really not going to work. The great part about using the, um, the other tool here, which is the text box tools, that you can draw it the same size of the icon. And I can take this snap I can select it, go Control C for copy, Control B, B for paste. Now when I double click here, now this might be, the text might be too large, which is good to know. So I'm gonna go and undo there. Let's just say I wanna do CC. Well, the neat thing about when the, uh, you're using a text box is that you can go into the text box properties. The one thing that you cannot do with the typewriter tool and you can set the text box properties to go center alignment and to align in the middle. So that way any text that you type once you select the proper typing will fit right in the middle every time you create a new icon that you want to give it a name. Over here, it only allows you to go left, right, and middle. So sometimes you got to keep rearranging. So for consistency, it's really good to use the actual text box tool when you're labeling the an icon that you are going to be adding to your tool chest if it's going to represent some kind of device or um, you know, some kind of icon that you're going to put on the page.